Guess what? Today I'm teaching business strategy, but not like a normal business strategy, because if you know Toyota very well, you understand that one of their strengths is not just the ability to produce cars efficiently and you know, with high quality, but it's their ability to create a vision for a long term. In fact, Toyota is a mastermind, an expert in creating amazing long term vision from which they draw smaller targets and smaller goals to achieve. That's why they're so successful, being able to visualize the long term, but also visualize the short term goals and target. And that technique is very important for business to be successful. And that technique is what I'm teaching today. So I'm super excited. We have people flying in from all over the world, from Germany, even from Turkey and South America, as well as US and Canada. They're all here learning as business students how to apply what we call lean thinking and agile thinking basically similar to a Toyota production system. And they're going to learn that through the classroom, also through projects. And eventually in the fall, I'm going to take them to Japan to learn from the best of best in Japan. So very exciting week this week. And follow me and let me give you a glimpse of what they're learning and how they're learning today. So now what the class is doing is to learn about strategy from what we call the plate game. The plate is randomly placed on the floor and they have to try to figure out how to organize it in such a way it creates some kind of pattern. Come and follow me for a second, I'll keep my uh, voice low. But they have, they have these plates on the floor. This was something lost, something rather And what they're trying to do is to see if there's a pattern as they move around the plate and they have to tap from number one to number 60 and they have to try to figure out exactly what kind of pattern exists. That's part of the strategy thinking. We like to use simulation to teach some key business topics. So now they are back at this again, trying to find a way to uh, reduce the time it takes to go from number one to number 60. There's 60 plates on the floor and they have to tap each one in sequence and they have to keep on improving this using a method called Kaizen to reduce the total time. So it's designed to build teamwork, designed to create some uh, innovation and creative thinking. Uh, but most of all, it's designed to help them understand strategy. Because there's a strategy behind this game and it's pretty fascinating. It's a really good um, team building game. And they're pretty excited, but still can't figure out. See, they're struggling now to find a number because sometimes you can't find a number. But what they don't know yet is that there is a pattern that will help them improve this process tremendously if they can figure out that puzzle. Let's see how they progress. Now, in case you wonder what this course is about, we're teaching what we call lean thinking and agile thinking. Lean or lean manufacturing is what Toyota production system is all about. It's a way to reduce waste and improve productivity through Kaizen, which means continuous improvement. But agile thinking is somewhat new. It's a newer business method that uh, focused on iteration and repeated trial that allows people to uh, basically try new things and see if the outcome result in better a better outcome. So the two can be combined together, lean thinking, agile thinking, to produce the best business technique in the world to improve anything in the world. That includes strategy, includes process improvement, includes uh, individual thinking as well. So that's what they're learning today and this game is just part of that whole process. But over the next several days, they also have to apply what they learn to a company that they're going to attend because they have to solve someone else's problems. Very interesting week. I love teaching this course and there's so much depth and insight to be shared. And if you ever want to take this course with me, let me know and see if we can set that up for you. So right now it's taking them three to four minutes to complete tapping all 60 plates from number one to number 60 and they have to bring that down to 60 seconds or less using what they learned from the class today. So this is uh, once again, it's called lean technique or lean manufacturing technique. It's a way to improve process by eliminating waste. And uh, they have a pretty important task because they're not anywhere close to the target goal of 60 seconds or less. So let's see if they'll continue to evolve and figure out and move along to the point where they can meet the target. So now you can see they've improved dramatically and their efficiency is way up because they figured out the strategy and the best way to approach this. 
And that's what Kaizen is about. It's constantly improving and making things better. And oh wow, look at that. The speed at which they're tapping the plates, substantially better. So as you can tell, by applying lean thinking or Kaizen method, they were able to improve the time from about three minutes down to about one minute. So almost three times more efficient. And this is part of the reason why Toyota is so successful, because they keep improving something and using Kaizen thinking, Kaizen method. And I really love teaching this course, and I enjoy it immensely because it's a way to improve not just business life, but also personal life. So hopefully I can share with you more about this amazing technique called lean thinking.